Hey everyone, this is Dhruveen and in this session we are going to talk about how we can export and import customized SharePoint form from development to production environment in Power Apps using exporting and importing package. So now let's get started. Most of the time we have scenario that we are developing our customized SharePoint form in our development environment and once our development is 100% completed we need to move those things to the production right so how can we make these changes from development to production very easily I am going to explain everything step by step in detail over here right so now First of all, let me talk about my list structure and data source structure over here, right? So basically, this is my site collection. You can see that my site collection is leave application, right? And in that site collection, I have one list name leaves. I have customized out of the box list form using Power Apps. So basically, I just used customized form and build one Power Apps for this particular list so this is my customized SharePoint list form right I have customized that with the help of power apps and this will looking like this right I already published this form to my list right now my development process has been completed for this particular list and now I wanted to move this form from my development to my production environment right now let me talk about my production environment so this is my production site right it is in the same tenant but even if it is in another tenant this trick will work for you right so you can see that the URL over here the URL is leaves application production right and my list name is same as the list that I have in the source which is leaves the very first thing that you need to remember that your source and destination list name should be exact same. Both the list should have exact same number of columns. All the internal name and external name should be same for both the list. Right? If you have followed this step correctly, you will be facing very less issue in importing and exporting the same form over there. Right? So, so make sure your list name your column name are exact same right there is no such difference now I have shown you my source and destination sites right now first of all we need to export the package from our source site so this is my source site right where I have built this power apps so what you need to do here is you need to export this package from this particular list form right for that you just need to click on file menu you just need to click on see all versions right one more important thing if you are not able to see the button see all version what you need to do here is you just need to uh, uh, make some minor change in your power apps let's say I'm making uh, this type of change over here and now I would be having save button once the save button would be appear we would be having see all versions button right now I just wanted to publish this version to the SharePoint and now I'm just clicking on see all versions right so this will be redirecting me to another page right where, from where I can export the package so basically it has redirected me to the app sections right now here you can see that we have an option export package right and the name of the application is leaves on leaves application form this is the out of the box name that has been created when we are customizing the form using SharePoint list right now we just need to click on export package so I'm just clicking there now you just need to provide the name of your package so I'm providing my package name as leave right uh, you can provide description if you wish uh, if you wanted to add environment name you can add otherwise you can skip that as well right now here we need to do one more thing right so this is my power apps form right uh, now here we have an option import setup just click on that make sure that you select create as new and click on save right now click on this setting here right from here select create as new 
right now once we do this step we need to export the package make sure that you check everything properly here now I am exporting this package over here this will take some time based on your app size so my package has been downloaded successfully in a zip format right so let me just open that in my explorer so here you can see that my package has been exported successfully right now you just need to extract that package so I'm just clicking on extract all and I'm just extracting the package over here right so my extracted package will be looking like this right now here we have folder microsoft.powerapps just click on that open apps open this folder now we would be having one json file over here just right click on that and open that json file into notepad plus plus or visual studio code if i am opening that file specifically to notepad plus plus so my file has been opened successfully here you can see that the file is looking like this right now what we need to do here is let me just copy this entire code and let me just add that to the json formatter online right so i'm just searching for json formatter i'm just adding my code here so the formatted code will be looking like this right? here we have embedded app section where we need to provide a destination site id destination list id and destination list url right now what do we mean by destination the source that we need to move from development to production right so production environment is my destination site right so basically uh, in my source i have i had this power apps where we have exported this package right now i want to import that package to my destination which is live application production right now this is my production list url so basically i just need to copy that and paste it over here in the notepad right now i need site url so this is my production site like leave application production so let's keep that as it is and now i need list id as well so let's just go to the list setting over here and now from here we will be finding the list id so here you can see that uh, this is the list id now you just need to ignore percentage 7b and percentage 7d at last just copy apart from uh, that information right so i am just copying this entire id from here right so this will be looking like this so let's copy that over here right now what i need to do here is i just need to open that json file that i open in notepad plus plus right now i just need to search for embedded app right so we have that section over here so just go to that section we just need to replace site id list id and list url right so let's just add site id over here so my destination site id is this one till production url right so now i am just adding my site id over here so i just added my site id now i need to add list id which is this one let's add that and now i need to add list url which is looking like this right so let's just copy that and let's paste that right i have done that now just save this file right i saved this file successfully here right now i need to go to my download folder again so i just need to go here i need to copy this file from here right now go back to your zip file so this is my zip folder right now just go to the folder now we need to replace that file over here right so let's paste this file here just click on copy and replace just press f5 right so the file has been replaced successfully right so now my zip package is ready right 
basically now for import process you need to use this zip package right now you need to go to your destination site so this is my destination site right live application production right maybe there is a situation that you have totally different tenant then even this trick will be work right now you just need to type in url make.powerapps.com so just click on make.powerapps.com so that will open your power apps home page over there now you need to click on app section so just click on apps now here we have an option import canvas app now we know that this is the customized sharepoint list form app right but still it is acting as a canvas app so we just need to click on import canvas app right now we need to upload our zip package so basically i'm just uploading this zip package right so it is being uploading now that has been uploaded successfully here now from import setup it is set as create as new right now what we need to do here is we just need to change this name if you are using the different tenant then you don't need to change the name but in this case i am using the same tenant but different site and different list so i am just changing that name right leaves on leave application form production right i'm just changing like this uh, same way just click on action uh, from here as well just change this name right and now just click on import right so I'm just clicking on import so this is importing your package don't navigate away right and you can see that all package resources were successfully imported right so this is done now i need to click on open app so i'm just opening that app so make sure that i'm opening an uh, app to make sure that all the changes has been reflected properly into that power apps or not right so it has been added here successfully right now one more important thing you need to do if you find any errors on your page over here you just need to refresh your data source from here sometime what happen here is in your data source itself it is throwing some error right but what you need to do here is you just need to close the app once and reopen once that will resolve maximum of issues right otherwise if your list name is different it will throw lots of error to you in the forms you need to fix that manually right now i'm just saving that form that has been saved and now i'm just clicking on back to sharepoint right so my form has been opened successfully over here and i'm redirecting to the production list right now in my whenever i'm clicking on new form it is still opening the out of the box list form so we just need to make one correction here we just need to go to the list setting and now we need to go to form setting and we need to configure our power apps form as a default form so i'm just using use a custom form created in the power apps right so we just need to select that one right now it is saying that you have to publish your form within the power apps to make this option work yeah right so we just need to publish our app right so we did that part and now we are again clicking on customize forms from here so which will automatically open the imported app over here right so i'm just clicking on customize form from using this option right now let it to be open and then we will make some publish over there so now let me just publish this form over here so it is still not showing save option this is really bad so i just need to make some minor correction again here so let me just change that height up to 307 like this so it will open the save button automatically and after save it will open the publish right so this is hope this will be improved soon right so i think we are good now i'm clicking on this sharepoint list and now i'm clicking on new option so let's see if it is opening the power apps form or not so here we are so it is opening my new power apps form over here right so let's see yeah 
so my power of form has been opened successfully right so this is how we can easily export and import our customized sharepoint form from our development to production environment right this hope this tip will helpful to you right if you have any question related to this topic you can add your question in the comment section if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel stay tuned with me on facebook linkedin twitter podcast if you wish to receive the daily notification from my channel click on this link it will be redirecting you to this form fill the form and you will be receiving daily notification on your whatsapp number stay connected with me on my podcast channel as well click on this link this will be redirecting you to my podcast home page where you can listen different power platform related podcast on google podcast apple podcast spotify and so many other platform just click on your suitable platform and you will be redirected over there right so hope this is clear for you now this is dhruvin signing off have a great day goodbye